I, I want to speak about a person whom most of us don't know actually, uh, in the sense we know him as a public figure, but we don't know him as a personality. We, we look at politicians uh, as someone who we don't like or someone who don't care for us or someone who are corrupt. Am I right? <laughs> that is what we think about politicians. Um, but actually, as you know, all of you, the most or the world's toughest profession is politics. Agree with me? Yes. That's the reason why no one wants to go there. Everyone wants to join Infosys or State Bank of India. I know it's also tough to join Infosys and SBI, but it is more tougher to be a politician. The first thing is there is no certainty. There is no pension. There is no salary. And salary is there. And most important, ah, after becoming politician, it is there. I'm talking about that struggle phase, you know. And that struggle phase is not for one year or two years. Hello. It is for? It's for lifetime. It's not like, whew, I'm arrived now, done. I'm successful. No, no, it's every day a new challenge. Every day new problems. I repeat again, we are looking at the positive side of politics. All of you just see at this. It's not like two years or three years of struggle, it's a lifetime struggle. And there are some people who, and, and all of you understand, that's the reason why politicians are mentally very, have you heard any politician uh, depressed? <laughs> no. And mostly they will not cry. On the stage they will. <laughs> but have you seen a politician saying, oh, retired now. After 60, I will go for evening walk. Have you seen a politician? At the age of 90, he will say, next time I'm going, I will fight. <laughs> Will you say, after 60, we pack our bags and we, we go with our grandsons and grandchildren. Am I right, all of you? So, I admire these people and today I went to my library and I found out my three books here and these books I brought to show you. And the politician I'm talking about, all of you may guess, the politician is... Uh, okay. He is uh, the politician. Second book I have. Paosatla uh, Sanyadri Sharad Pawar. And third book I have is, it's his own autobiography, Lokmaja Sangati. This I purchased, uh, I guess, one year before. Not because he got success recently, not because of that. I actually, I have the habit of... Uh, Understanding people. Do you have that? I have the hunger, I have the passion to know these people. Do you have? I have the hunger. Aren't you amazed? Like Aren't you amazed of this? I mean, look at this guy. Age is? What is age? 84. Retired? You know what he said? No tire, no retire. Only fire. <laughs> Look at the... I mean, you will realize that we can learn a lot of things, guys. We say that, well, politicians are corrupt and easy life for them and, you know, all is hunky dory for them. It's not like that. Every day, someone or other is questioning them, monitoring them. Let it be the... Media, let it be people, and most important, opposition. Cancer. Have you seen any person who is fighting with cancer and fighting elections? Fighting with cancer and fighting with loved ones? Fighting with cancer and fighting with loved ones? Have you seen anyone? They have this. Again, I want to say, I am not uh, with any political party. I'm just looking at the character of a person, okay? Because I study human beings, I study the human nature, I, I mean, I'm passionate about that.
Every time everyone feels like this is finished, he is finished now, he will fight back again. At the age of 83, 84, everyone, as I said before, is thinking of retirement. But this guy is not there. He is there to fight. And in his book, he has written about his cancer also. How he went, underwent surgery and how he has written that. When we get cold and cough, we sleep for two days. <laughs> he did not take rest. Even he had that napkin, that napkin used to get wet due to blood. And still he would work. You know, he would work still. And in his book, he has written, I have underlined many important points here. Definitely you can, you can see over here. Can you see this? I have underlined some important points here, which, which I felt like very important. It's about cancer. Kar karogala bhirtana chapter is there. I will read a couple of lines. Dillitle Apollo Rumalayat, me, Kemo Ghaizo, Ani Tasats, Maja Karyalayat, Yeun Kamkazat, Huntun Zaizo. Got it? Next line is there. Sharirachi Avasta Jama, Tin the Nazuka State, and one man sick Takat Tumja Kamiete. Nice. I think we should write it down. See him. Ata napkin. Come. Pour the napkin raktana bharaiza. Maja kutumbiana, sarkarana, maja vedana pahaicha night. Temala manaiche, kayi divas kamatun bazula, ho naram kara. Maja manasa nigra matra pakaota. Kamat buntla, tarasapla vedna visrunza ushaktat. Vishranti ghet baslo, tar fat far vedanansats raja manava ratu. It's a big paragraph, I will read a couple of lines. Karkaro zaleva tacha virodat, manasa nirdhar, niyamit pane yogi aushu upshar gene, ani apla kamatli kangrata, hi tri sutri far matwaji ahi. Okay, this is from one, one chapter. So, friends, uh, this is uh, a personality. In fact, I I don't know uh, NCP and all. Like, I'm not into this politics. Already have said. I'm into this person. As a personality, what is this person? As I said before, kis mitti ke ye log bane hote hai? What that? What is that stuff they are made up of? What they are made up of? Sir, positive thinking? Well, this is the cliche. Everyone says positive thinking, sir. What is that? It's only positive thinking. It's not. It's not positive thinking. If you see his overall journey, right from childhood days till everything is... And there are two parts, I think. This is part one. Part 2 will be published or is published, I don't know. If you see the... He, he, he always says that. Two lines I remember, he says that, I love struggle. And second he line says, very important line, I always follow that line. I don't look back. When the incident is over, it's closed. I don't think about the past. I just look forward. So guys, in the previous lecture, I was talking about optimism. And there is a research done by Dr. Martin Seligman about optimism. And this is a real example of optimism. A real live example of optimism. How people are optimistic. This is a real example of optimism. One more quality I feel this person has. 
Do you have that quality? The quality is connecting with people, connecting with the masses, connecting with the roots of people. Another word is humble and grounded. Humble and grounded to those people, to farmers. I'm a minister, so I will only fly in helicopters and the VIP cars. No, this guy is grounded, rooted. He understands farming. He understands farming. He connects with people. This is a very vital skill, I feel. What do you think? The ability to connect with people, to understand people, is very important. No matter what, no matter what, they, these politicians can go anywhere. They can go to Ames and deliver a lecture. And also they can go to a village and deliver a lecture. Yes or no? And as far as communication skills are concerned, they don't need any preparation. I mean, any time they will go and deliver a talk. They are always ready. In fact, from one program to another program, the travel, when they travel, that time they use for preparation for the next session, next talk. So busy there. And last point I want to say here, which really makes this person a, a gem is, all of you will agree with me is, real, 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 real hardworking. In his book he has written, I sleep for four, five hours. I don't need much sleep. Four to five hours I sleep, that's all. How many of you sleep in the afternoon? Raise your hands. Honestly, raise your hands. And Sharad Tawar is <laughs> sleeping four, five hours overall and we are sleeping in the afternoon. Why do we need? Do we need that? Fine. You know, I have, I have realized from my personal experience that if you are busy, you don't even remember sleep. Married all of you? Suppose your exam, what time you sleep usually? 2 to 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, am I right? When your exam paper is there, will you feel sleepy? You are alert. Have you realized, even we don't realize, 2-3 hours are passed while writing the exam. Do you feel sleepy? It's all your, if you have a purpose in life, you will never sleep in afternoon, yes, no? I have realized, now, when I was in my home, I used to take a nap for 30 minutes. Here, sometimes I take, otherwise I don't take. Never now. So busy, so much, of, so much of work is there, shooting is going on, lectures are there, you know, construction is going on, a lot of things are there. So that is what I wanted to tell about this personality. Some people will ask, why? why to do this at this age? Do you need money? Why you are doing that? Why? What is the reason behind this? What is the reason? Money? I don't think so. Money is the reason behind this. Power? What's the reason behind this? I think this is... Some people have this, that mindset that, that doesn't allow them to sit. They will not sit quite. Till the last breath, till the last breath, they will not sit quite. They'll be busy, engaged, working, studying. And one more thing I have observed, have you observed, I don't know. When you see this personality, Mr. Sharad Pawar. He will be always carrying some files with him. All of you seen that? And some, something is there. That's studious nature. Another point I want to tell here now. How many points I told you? Do you remember? Qualities. Tell me. Yes? Grounded person connecting with masses. Connected with masses. Second. 
yes optimistic optimism third Dedication. focus on the work focus on the work even cancer is there second day take chemotherapy go to office do you have that passion in work do you have that passion in work sangala lagta ghari bas are you like that we are exactly opposite sangala lagta college la ja grounded focus on work okay that is grounded hard never give up as optimism never give up hard working looking forward not looking back where do you live experience analysis analysis where do, most of us live in the past yes or no yes why he did like this why this happened to me why only me we always looking at the past another thing learning yes always wants to learn and our learning stops after 25 i think once the graduation or pg is finished i will never touch that book again <laughs> my my wife was telling me about her friend her friend told her my wife that since 19 years that cupboard is locked i haven't opened it which cupboard books cupboard what do you do then ipl cricket tv serials these are the qualities guys which we have to get from learn from these people now if you ask me sir personally which quality you liked if you ask me well i have all the qualities but one quality he has which i have less and that quality is to be honest this person is brutally brutally optimistic i am not as optimistic as he is very optimistic are you samjho na why is he still there why is he still there why is he alive why is he alive he has hope hope keeps you alive do you know this have you seen some people dying when they realize that their kids don't want them what happens or how many of you have seen such people raise your hands they stop food slowly slowly health deteriorates and one day they die because they have given up hope they they realize that my family members don't want me what is the purpose of living in life then <laughs> they finished they're dead so one of the reasons why again i want to say politicians die very old do you know this 80 90 100 why this kind of personalities are called as resilient and hardy personality salvador madi has done lot of research in this field hardy personality what is hardy personality andar se strong no bore me tan kaun plan ye andar se strong kaise hota hai kaise hota hai andar se strong aadmi mentally mentally that's what i'm asking no mentally how do you become mentally strong everyone is mentally strong how many are mentally strong raise your hands abhi nahi pata chalega ruko see people are like tea bags tea bag you realize what you are when you go in boiling water then you realize so wait water is boiling that fun after 8 o'clock will stop fun after 8 o'clock after the session the fun is there no it will stop 
once you go to Pune. And when the boss is there, where are you going? Finish the work. I'll tell you one good thing. This is called as learning. Learn from these people. Learn, learn communication skills. Learn vocabulary. Learn your academics. Learn coding. But learn this also. Because optimism is a learnable skill. All of you understood? It's a learnable skill. And it can be taught. Great news, no? It can be taught actually. And in this institute, my purpose is to make you more optimistic. Hey guys, read books, but read people also. Read books, but read people also. And you will realize that there are a lot of things which we don't get from chemistry, physics, biology, and geometry, and history. You can learn from these people. Do you have such a guru in your life? Do you have such a guru in your life? Who is there? Who tells you that go? Fight. Go and fight. Go and struggle. Do you have? You should have. I have. I have people in my life. When, that's what I say. When I feel like Oh my God, I go through, I also go through a lot of problems in life. A lot of pessimism in life, I also go through. And then I look at these people. Wow. Dunya mein kitna gum hai, mera gum kitna kam hai. And then I get rejuvenated and come back. Come back full throttle. Guys, these were the qualities which I felt were very important. What do you think? I want to know from you today. So, one of the, one important quality I'll tell you, which again he has, presence of mind. That is intelligence. This, this photo. All of you know this incident? Yes. It was raining and he, he did not take an umbrella. He did not say that stop, we'll wait for one hour. No, he took the, and that made the difference. He took that rally, he took that session and that made all the difference. I think Srinivas Patil was the, yes, he was the candidate for that one seat, Satara seat. And he won because people understand that he is a fighter. And when people realize that you are optimistic, you are a fighter, people will support you. All of you seen like Ajit Pawar left him. And most of the ministers and MPs, MLS left him. He was why? Oh, old man now, what he's going to do? But he did not give up. And that's the character of a leader, is he believes in himself. That is a fighter. That is the quality that they take challenges. They take challenges. I will fight. I will not give up. You left me, no problem. Now many will come back, maybe. They will come back again and say, oh, we want to continue with you. And. I think people will trust you. People will trust you when you trust yourself. People will trust you when you trust yourself. Now, maybe some people will come back again to his party. But when they came because they realized that this guy is not going to give up so easily. He is not going to give up. He is there. 
he is there to fight. Ha! Huh, one more thing. Ambitious. Very ambitious. Very ambitious. He will not take anything lying on the ground. Never take anything lying on the ground. And that, that is a hallmark of, of successful people is they are very ambitious. Never satisfied. Never satisfied. Or, or what do we say as well? Oh, if you are not, if you're over ambitious, you have that blood pressure and that disease and heart problems and all that stuff. But I believe that disease comes when you are free and when you have no work to do. Agree with me? Yes. How many of you have seen such people who have nothing to do but because of that they are lazy and they have disease now? All of you have seen around you? These people don't have any reason, any purpose to get up in the morning. Whole day they are busy watching TV or afternoon gossip or evening. Again talk or read the newspaper or discuss. Discuss what? Politics. <laughs> and that is what we should not do. Guys. This is what I wanted to say to you. Uh, I will start the second book now. First I have finished and this book also I will start. Hope you will learn something from such people. <laughs>